foreign affairs. Congressman, does it make sense to have the guy saying, uh, I'm going to go to war with China, meet up with China to talk about love and peace? Well, and he'll tell you himself that he's met with uh, the president of the Chinese Communist Party more than any other leader in the world and their friends. And uh, I'm sure he's going to thank him behind closed doors for giving his son's company almost a billion dollars from the Chinese Communist Party on top of other projects uh, that the Chinese Communist Party has helped Hunter Biden and his associates with. Now, this, this meeting that he's going to have with Xi Jinping, first meeting between the two to talk about Taiwan, you know, we already established that doesn't make any sense. He's also going to talk about Russia, de-escalation efforts between the Russia war and Ukraine. Do you suspect anything beneficial to come from this meeting? Do you think it's a PR stunt? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's 100% a PR stunt. Um, we already know where the Chinese Communist Party stands with Russia. They're an ally at Russia, yep. and they're, not, they're the number one national security threat of the, the United States. And yet you have a president going over there and uh, uh, working with the Chinese Communist Party when the Chinese Communist Party want nothing but to destroy America, destroy our businesses, destroy our industry, industries, using climate change as one of those things uh, to destroy our industries here in the United States. Um, it's all a show. It's all political in nature. Nothing substantive will come out of it. And if it does, it's certainly not going to be an American first policy that will come out of the meeting. Now, what, one thing that I think would be helpful for Biden to talk with Xi Jinping with is uh, the origins of COVID-19. I think it'd be very helpful to get to the bottom of who's responsible for unleashing this virus on the entire world, which we already all know the answer to. Um, but here's a clip of a reporter asking Karine Jean-Pierre about this, if Biden will bring that up. Here's her word salad of an answer. When the president meets with President Xi, it's their first time meeting in person since President Biden took office. When he comes back, I know it's too early to tell if Republicans are going to take control of the Senate, of the House. If so, even if one body, they want to investigate, and when I say they, I mean Republicans, the origins of COVID-19. That's something Republicans have on their agenda. They've been talking about it. Will President Biden ask President Xi about the origins of COVID-19 and bring up that issue with him in person? Again, I'm not going to get, and Jake has said this as well, I'm not going to get ahead of the agenda of what they're going to discuss uh, when they have their uh, bilat. Certainly we will share uh, the conversation and what came up. Uh, the president has always been clear on getting to the bottom of, uh, of COVID. Um, and uh, and has been very clear in in uh, in reports that we have put out uh, on um, the origins uh, of COVID as well. But I'm just not going to get ahead of that conversation. <laughs> just a word salad for in short. No, you know they're not going to talk about the origins of COVID-19, right? Yeah, translation. No, <laughs> they're not because uh, it wouldn't go over well. Because as we all know, the Chinese Communist Party, the virus came for a lab from a lab. And this administration has done nothing to go after the Chinese Communist Party for weaponizing uh, COVID across the world. The Democratic majority in the House have investigated nothing as it relates to COVID, which has killed millions of people all across the world. Uh, they're more concerned about investigating January 6th and all the people that walked under the Capitol that day than they are a virus that was weaponized and made in a lab in Wuhan, China, that was then disseminated across the world and killed millions and millions of people. They don't care about that. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's dreadful, and we it, you know we'll never we'll never get a confession. We'll never get the White House uh, until there's a new White House, new leadership. We'll never get the Joe Biden White House to get to the bottom of the origins of COVID-19. They're not going to talk about it. Obviously, China's not going to talk about it because they're responsible for it. It's all very very tragic. Uh, people deserve justice and they deserve transparency. Unfortunately, they won't get that. Congressman, before we go, I want to thank you for your service. You served in the Thank United you. States Army, so we really appreciate that on this on this Veterans Day. Uh, quick message out to the veterans. I know you've, you have posted to your social media wishing veterans a, a happy Veterans Day. Yeah, uh, it's an honor to serve. I want to thank all those that raised their right hand to serve our country. We wouldn't be where we are in America today without the brave men and women who served in uniform, and I want to thank them personally and, and know that a Republican majority is going up to fight for you when we get the gavels in January. Yeah, well, we appreciate that, Congressman. And thank you so much for your service. We appreciate it and all of the work that you continue you. to do for this country. Take care. Great to have you on. Thanks. Anytime. Meanwhile, I want to bring in Congressman